Okay, thanks for checking in. Another tough belt. It's here. It's actually this. The Tough Built Specialist Drill Holster. Here's the model number. Try to get that in. I'm sorry I'm shaking a little bit. It's been a long day and I just had some coffee. It always does that to me. It came with the clip, which is important, okay? This one, this one, and others. I think that clip system is super awesome. Now, it's designed, engineered, and quality assured in the U.S., but made in China. What are you going to do? You know, they float balloons over our, uh, you know, our area. Not trying to be political. Just happened in the news. I had to throw it in. However, tough built. I did a review on this little guy here. $10. This thing is so sweet. I've already used it twice just for, you know, around the house purposes. I had one guy suggest, what do you do? Your tools are clean. Um, he's telling me that I don't use my tools. There's not even a scratch on them. Well, you know, I'm a hack around the house. That's my, uh, my deal, right? I like to buy tools. I'm pretty handy. I do things around the house, other people's houses. I'm not a contractor. I'm not a professional construction dude. I'm just letting you know good deals when I see them. Plus, I'm typically on a budget, right? Because I do these things around the house. So I'm hoping this helps you. Tough Built, I don't think it's the most expensive brand out there. You can get other, you know, tool accessory holders and whatnot from the brand names like Milwaukee and, you know, all the bigger ones. Dude, I like them cheap and I like them to work. And again, I'm a weekend warrior. Sometimes it goes over a week, but stay tuned. I'm very impressed about this specialist drill holster, and I'll give you a little bit more information here in a second. Stay tuned. Okay, tough built. Look at this guy, right? I think this is the medium. They have a small, medium, and a large. And I think once you go to the medium it and the large, it all deciphers on the pockets on the exterior versus the actual holster, right? My big deal is I own Ryobi and all the Amazon pictures and reviews and videos, they're all using the Milwaukee, they're using the 12 volt, they're using the smaller ones. I'm like, man, I own the normal size. Is it going to fit? Yes, it will. And I'll show you that in a second. But let's give you an overlook on this guy, okay? I don't have it packed with goods. That's up to you, right? Clip system, that's awesome. I'm gonna do more vids on that and what I'm thinking here in the system. Hey, a little Velcro pocket, put whatever you want. Hey, there's the Milwaukee Fast Pack in there, right? Okay? But the material, I mean, everything is just high quality it's tough just like their name i guess right as you can see i don't have a pact but the reason why is because i want to show you you know i mean yeah i got a screw extractor there there's other little loops that yeah use your imaginary system there to what you could use that for you know one two three you know another all through where you could put some things. You got your bits, drill bits. You could put your pencil. I mean, there's still some more to go. And then it's the deep well. This thing, I mean, you can almost double up. And I'll show you that here in a second with your power tools or just whatever you want to put in there. Screwdrivers, you know, we've already gone through the gamut on what you could use this tape measurer uh, pouch. Well, now you got it right off to the side. So, again, clip pretty deep. I don't know. I'm trying to give you a walk around. It's pretty, uh, pretty tough, just like their name. Now, it goes all the way through, as you can see. There is a little loop dealio with some Velcro. So, once you're up on your ladder... You can unbuckle it and you can secure whatever driver you're using, okay? 
these are the drivers that I have. So let's go with this guy first, the impact. And that's what I'm thinking. Like no one showed the Ryobi tool. So I'm like, do I get the small one, the medium, the big? Found out the medium and big will hold everything. Granted, like I said, you got the little security thing when you're climbing them up on down the ladders. Now here's one thing too I wanna show you. Um, I forget who makes these dealios where double-sided tape, these things are great. And I think after this breaks in, as you can see, it'll slide right in. I don't have too many attachments, right? So, all right, so let's go with the drill. You know, the Ryobi normal drill brushless. Got a bunch of stuff on there. So again, bam, it does fit with your bigger caliber drill systems, right? I'm guessing Ryobi is probably one of the biggest ones out there. Yeah, they make them small, but not tiny like Milwaukee and DeWalt and all the other goods. But I'm telling you what, you can use this, like I mentioned, you know, climbing up a ladder. Um, I have these polycarbonate sheets. I got four of them here that I'm going to put on my uh, gazebo. I got some gazebo repair. So I'm going to have to climb up a ladder. This is to cut down on the UV rays and keep you nice and cool. I live in Texas when you're sitting in your gazebo, right? So I got to go up and fashion it to the top of the gazebo, getting on a ladder, uh, got fence repair. You know, I want to strap this to my belt, right? So boom, right hand side. I was thinking this was just going to hold screws. Boom, left hand side. So I don't know, use your imaginary system there. You can do whatever you want, but let's just take this, all this stuff out. Right? Bear with me. Gotta set that down. Use two hands. Let's get all this stuff out of this little guy. Right? So look how big that is, right? Now check this out. It's almost the same. A little smaller. Well wise. Okay, it doesn't have some of the other pockets. Like this one does not have on this exterior pouch, but you got them inside and out. So I don't know. Jeez, I gotta get this out, the thing can't stand. Now it can't stand by itself. Tough build I already mentioned. Uh, they do have kickstands for everything, but they're thinking, hey, this is gonna be on your belt. This was gonna be on my right hand side. This is gonna be my left hand side. I just wanna slip something in there, just like so walk up a ladder, have everything I need. My screws are in here, right? Um, hell, I don't know. I got this little guy out. Not like you're gonna use this. This is a cheapy electric screwdriver, right? Charge, rechargeable. I mean, you can double up. I don't know, maybe you can even double up with this. Oh, that's heavy, but they fit. And I think if you're a little agile on the ladder, not moving around a whole lot, you'll probably stay in there too. So like I mentioned, I like to buy things that has a purpose, but then you can make something like this a different purpose. You know, maybe you wanna just load it with tools. You know, slam some of these things in there. Jeez, you know. I'm not going to do it because I'm telling you what, I can load this thing. That guy shot right out of the bottom. You got to remember, that's an open well down there. But this thing, I think, was under 25 bucks, right? So you got $10, $25, and the belt, the actual belt is going to be here tomorrow with some other things from Tough Built, which I'm going to do a vid on. But right there, these two things. I think can come in handy if you want to use them on a belt system or just use them as a tote or a pouch. Use your, you know, use your mind thinking what you can utilize these for versus what they're really 
made for. So I think that's the key, right? So uh, thanks for watching. If you liked it, give it one of these. Hey, look, my thumb is getting better. Tape's off now. But uh, have yourself a good day.